Good morning, Coco. You can see she's not nervous anymore. She's just kind of twitchy with her nose. Yeah. But she's become a good little hamster. So she's doing really well on her training, on being tamed. I'm no longer afraid to pick her up and have her bite me. So that part's gone. And so she's become really, really sweet. And then I was working with uh, Gina last night. But I don't really feel like trying to get in there so like I've been doing is just kind of patting around the nest just kind of like this once again to just kind of get my scent on her bedding you want to come out and see me baby come on come on that a girl. See, she's become a little, a little more quieter too. And that's what I meant with some hamsters, like, to be feel like they're free, but they know that they can't necessarily get off at the time. She actually has a patch of brown fur, too, right there. Can't wait till the 8th. I'm hoping she'll go right into heat. I'm hoping at least. Huh, baby? Yeah. Hey! You're a good girl. Yeah. But, that's going to be the end of this video for now. Since you can tell that she's become calmer. And so is Coco. And so that's pretty much the best thing. And then in the next few days, like I said, I'll end up I'll end up breeding her. So hopefully within the time period we'll have a batch of pups coming along. Which is good because the pet store actually sold all their all their hamsters, so now they're out and they'll have to be ordering more, which should give me enough time to breed these little guys and give them some extra pups that people can buy from them. It's hard to believe that I've spent close to, I'd say close to $500 on these hamsters and I've only received like 30 bucks. <laughs> Just shows how much I love these adorable little animals. Yeah. She likes to sniff around in new territories. Hi. Sniffing the camera? Yeah. Alright. Well, that's going to be the end for this video. Toodles for now. Toodles.